Hi, this is Eric from MyAnnual.net and I'm going to show you today how to properly clean, test, and gap your aviation spark plugs. First thing we need to talk about is personal protective equipment. I'm going to wear gloves uh, to keep the solvent off of my hands and safety glasses uh, to make sure I get nothing in my eyes. Once you remove the plugs from the engine, uh, you'll want to keep them indexed in some kind of carrier so you can tell uh, which plug came out of which cylinder top and bottom. Uh, the reason that is is we will rotate the plugs when we put them back in uh, as per manufacturer's recommendations um, to extend the life of the plugs. Uh, we're going to remove the old crush gasket from the plug and we'll replace that with a new one later. Deposits form in the down inside the plug from lead in the fuel and other contaminants. Uh, there's several ways we can get that out of there. Uh, if you've got a dental pick, you can get down in there and scratch around and get the deposits out that way. I like to use a uh, electric engraver with a little tool on it that you can buy from the aircraft suppliers. It digs down around in there and dislodges all that lead and contaminants so you can get that out. Uh, you can see from the stuff that comes out of there that there's always some lead or other contaminants down in there. Next thing we're going to do is wash the plug in a solvent to remove uh, oil, grease, anything that's on the old on the plugs, uh, anti-seize lubricant, or anything on the top of the plugs, so that when we blast it in our blaster, it doesn't the media, the sand doesn't stick to the plug and we'll give that a little shot of air to get the solvent out of there. Now our tester over here has got a sandblaster built into it and a plug tester. Um, when you insert the plug in it, it not only does it sandblast the plug but it rotates the plug as it's blasting so that it reaches all areas of the top of the plug. Once it goes around once, that's usually enough. We'll now hit the air button, which just blows that sand off of the top of the plug. Well, again, once around is about enough on that. Remove it from the blaster. You can see how nice and clean that plug looks compared to when I, we took it out of the engine. Now we'll screw it into the tester portion. And this is a pressure vessel that simulates the pressures that are built up in the cylinder when the plug fires. This is the high voltage lead goes in there. When you hit the tester, it actually puts the power to the plug. And you can see the tip of the plug down here with a mirror that it shoots up at the bottom of the plug. You increase the pressure and it simulates the pressures that you get inside the cylinder. What you should see is a nice blue spark from both sides of the ground to the center electrode. Once you've done that, now we're going to gap the plug. Check the gap on it. This is a massive electrode, so our spark plug tester has an 18 thousandths and a 22 thousandths feeler gauge. The 18 should go easily between the ground and the center electrode and the 22 should be should stop as this one does and that's basically a go no go gauge the 18 goes through but the 22 does not go through and that shows that our gap is good on our plug now um, we're going to put a new crush gasket on the plug um, this is a copper gasket that when you put it in, put the plug into the cylinder and tighten it down, it actually crushes and gives you a good sealer between the plug and the cylinder uh, so you don't have gases escaping there. A little anti-seize lubricant on the threads and we're ready to go back into the engine. The recommended torque is 25 foot-pounds um, as per the manufacturer and that's how you clean and test your plugs. This is Eric from MyAnnual.net